This is Chocolate Surf Break on the North Shore. Um, we're right by uh, the Haleiwa Bridge, um, just a little bit uh, down the beach from there. So this area um, is an, a spot that we've been monitoring for about a year and a half, and almost every time we see high bacteria concentrations at this location. Um, and we think this is probably due to outflow from this uh, stream over here. Uh, there's uh, cesspools in the surrounding neighborhood um, that have the potential to leach sewage into the stream water and uh, via groundwater out into the ocean. Um, so yes, this is an area of concern. It's maybe somewhere that you don't want to swim if you have an open wound and be careful not to get water in your mouth because we do see high bacteria concentrations here almost every time we sample. Uh, we're seeing concentrations of that Enterococcus bacteria that are higher than um, the state limit for beach closure. If it's over 130, that's when we'll post signs. It just means, post signs, put up a water quality advisory, um, meaning that you, if it's over 130, there's a higher risk of people getting sick or it's a higher risk of people being exposed to these the pathogens that can make you sick. Even if the water is not brown, that's why we sample on a weekly basis. So example, we're at El Moana Lagoon right now. We sample here on a weekly basis. Uh, just because it's discolored doesn't mean it's safe. There's always some risk in swimming in the ocean. You don't know what's in there. Yeah, so always practice good personal hygiene. Like, like always shower after you go in the ocean.